Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video. I hope that you're all having a really great evening thus far. And so we're going to be taking a look at the latest for Brett. So Tropical Storm Watch has now been issued for the island of Barbados and it is likely that other islands will be under watches as we head into tonight. And so before I go into details, please do subscribe if you haven't yet done so and tap the notification bell so that you never miss an important update. All right, and so firstly, we're going to be talking about what is happening across the Caribbean and surrounding areas. And we can see here that there is quite a bit of activity developing across sections of Cuba, going to the vicinity of the Bahamas. And even in sections of the Gulf, we can see uh, some activity there as well, and for Florida too. And uh, over into Central America, it is sunny for most areas, but there is the development of some afternoon showers and thunderstorms, for example, in parts of southern Guatemala, heading to sections of western Honduras, and uh, going down into northern South America likely some isolated shower and thunderstorm activity. But in the Eastern Caribbean, things remain pretty dry. Then uh, there is going to be tropical storm Brett making its way uh, through the area. So let's now go ahead and take a closer look at the cyclone. Here we have it. And we can see just how, uh, how much it has evolved throughout today. It is looking a lot better on satellite as we have that new burst up of convective activity. Uh, and the system is now strengthening with winds of around 45 miles per hour. Let's go on to the latest cone forecast. So the maximum sustained winds are at 45 miles per hour and it is accelerating westward at 18 miles per hour. There you can see Barbados highlighted in yellow indicating that tropical storm watch. And so other areas likely to be impacted by this would include Guadeloupe, going to Dominica, Martinique, St. Lucia and even going to St. Vincent and uh, sections of the Grenadines. And so this is likely going to be not too far from hurricane intensity but still not a hurricane expected. So uh, uh, maximum winds could be at around 65 miles per hour when it is going to be making that passage. But uh, it is going to be moving into a region of more unfavorable wind shear as it enters the Caribbean. And as such, uh, it is not expected to intensify in the basin, but rather weaken. So it is likely to continue on that westward track heading south of Hispaniola, uh, south of Jamaica, as we're going to be progressing uh, into this weekend and into the early part of the new week. And now we want to go ahead and take a look at what is expected uh, in terms of the model track and intensity guidance. We're starting out with the uh, track guidance here. We can see that majority of these members are in agreement with the general track of this. So Brett is actually going to be moving westward, uh, heading from the tropical Atlantic across the Lesser Antilles and through the Caribbean. Just that one model taking it up to the northwest, which seems pretty unlikely at this point. Uh, Brett isn't going to be intensifying that strong to be able to make that northwestward turn. So it's likely going to be continuing west and resulting in a lot of heavy rainfall, strong winds, and even some storm surge. But uh, it is not expected to be intense enough to allow for some significant inundation of the coastline. So that is important to note. And then going on to this map here, the estimated arrival of the tropical storm force winds. So for Barbados, uh, as you're going to be heading into the early morning hours of Thursday, it is likely that uh, you guys there will be experiencing some tropical storm force winds. But impacts could start before that. And so Brett is going to be making its way over the island chain throughout Thursday going to Thursday night and uh, eventually make its way across the eastern Caribbean as we're going to be progressing into uh, Friday and so in terms of the model intensity guidance for Brett here we can see that again majority of models are expecting that Brett will remain as a tropical storm at the most we have a few wanted to take it uh, wanting to take it very close to being a hurricane but majority are agreeing on a storm maybe with winds of around uh 50 or 60 miles per hour at the most. National Hurricane Center is saying 65 as the maximum sustained winds. And eventually, uh, some of these models here are expecting that this will be downgraded to a depression or even dissipating and just being a remnant low or an open trough as we're going to be progressing into uh, the end of this week as this is going to be making its way to the Central Caribbean because, as I said, it is going to be encountering uh, some more of that unfavorable wind shear. And now we want to go ahead and move on to the Saharan area map. We can see here that we have these different colors, but where we see more of those oranges and reds, that is where we have some uh, 
uh, denser amount of dry air and dust present in the atmosphere. And so some of this has likely infiltrated bread, which is uh, likely helping to keep the intensity at a minimum. And another factor that could have resulted in it not strengthened much between yesterday and today uh, could be the uh, fact that the low level center was moving a bit faster compared to the mid and upper level center of the, uh, the storm, hence resulting in a bit of shearing taking place. And that is why the center was exposed earlier this morning. But now it is looking a lot better. It's looking symmetrical, but it is not expected to become a very intense cyclone. So let's see what's going to be happening with it. And then looking at the wind shear map, where we see more of these red lines indicate more unfavorable wind shear, but uh, the yellow means that things are pretty neutral and the green means favorable. So as of right now, the shear isn't uh, impacting the cyclone too much. However, as we're going to be progressing into the next couple of days, again, that shear is going to be kicking up. But regardless, it is going to be bringing those dangerous conditions to portions of the Lesser Antilles. So please take all the necessary precautions, ensure that you have your evacuation uh, or emergency plans in place uh, as Brett is nearing the Allen chain. And so guys, that is pretty much it for this update. And I hope that you found it to be quite informative. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments. I will respond as best and as soon as I can. And remember to always be weatherwise.